Hi everyone, now we are dealing with the next topic that is equivalence of two RE means here regular expression. I have written only the abbreviation. So equivalence of two regular expression question is that we, uh, we will be given two regular expression. We have to prove whether these two regular expression are being equivalent. For that, we must draw the DFA for this regular expression and also this regular expression and these two DFAs must be equivalent. Okay, so regular from this regular expression you must draw a DFA and from this regular expression also you must draw the DFA that two DFAs must be equal. So I am drawing the regular exp uh, sorry uh, automata for this regular expression a plus b whole star what does it mean? You already know the automata for the a plus b whole star is this a comma b. Why it is this a plus b a can be occur or b can be occur it star means zero or more combination so whether a can occur or b can occur or both can be occurred that is meant by the stars so the dfa must like will be drawn like this next we have to draw the dfa for a star b star whole star okay so i am drawing the dfa here a star a star means what a can occur or not it's looped star means zero or more combination so it is being looped now now i am not drawing the minimized dfa you must have in your mind the minimized dfa but look at here we can follow the method so that you can easily minimize the dfa without going into the errors okay so a star i am drawing a single circle for the a star means zero or more combination so i have looped here so this is the initial next one look at here b a star i am taking this only so b i am not taken here that is to be keep in mind by you so b a star means here i am looped okay so this is our final state okay so whole star means what whole star means this can be either looped okay so whole star means this can occur or this can occur this both can be what null that is meant by this so this can be reduced like this okay a b a star so isn't it okay here a star a star means this can be null also this can be null means this can also be what final state we have already discussed in removing epsilon moves in the deterministic automata so this also null this also null so means this can be final state also this can be what final state so i have marked this as a final state and also this as a final state can you reduce this again yes because here here a is being looped here b all star means b can be occur how many times infinite times b can occur isn't it b a whole star means what b a whole star okay b a star whole star means a can occur infinite times also b can occur infinite times so the dfa will be like this a can be look either either we have to sorry whether we have to loop a here once again no it has been already looped and also b is looped okay so this will be look like this okay a comma b look at here this and this is same isn't it this and this is same so these two regular expression are being equivalent once again i will see the procedure you when we given two regular expression to prove it to be equivalent you must draw the dfa for the first regular expression and dfa for the second regular expression and minimize it maximally and look whether these two dfas are equal if they are equal that two regular expressions are being equal okay thank you